trying to bring my parents from back home, so when I was searching on public charge, I stumbled on a recent update on the public charge policy that came out very recently from USCIS. Public charge means depending on the American government for the day-to-day -day living. So they are clarifying which visa they're gonna apply this public charge policy. The first one, the non-immigrant visa. The non-immigrant visa are visitor visa for either business or visit. So they apply this policy for immigrant visa, especially family-based visa for spouses, for children, for parents, sisters, and brothers, they apply public charge. Employment-based visa for skilled and non-skilled employer employees they apply this public charge policy the last one is adjustment of status this is where we have to pay attention because it affects the green card holders too previously public charge was not applying on green card holders upon returning to the united states but now in certain circumstances public charge is going to apply on green card holders when they try to re-enter into the united states family based visa employment based visa are very clear but there are special visas that this policy does not apply for asylees for refugees for tps holders for u visa holders t visa holders for uh, bawa violence against women act visa holders this public charge will not apply but it applies for international students which, who have special visa status. For juvenile, they come here and they get abandoned in the United States or get abused or they are under the protection of the court. It, it does not apply to them. But other soldiers and other um, special visas, diplomats, it does apply to them. I will include the link in the YouTube video so you can read more about it thank you